borrow your headset again, they're still, they're going to still play with it. That's right. Hey guys, how you going? Good, how you going? Just Good wonderful. I've got the one 
I'm here with the mask up on the wing squat. <laughs> yep, done. Which one is that? The big one with the mask up. Come over and have a look. <laughs> Pretty good. Try to get around it, get everything and look at it when I get out. I got you too, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you got the right accent, you fit in nicely over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, not too bad yourself. Good, do you think we'll win the war? Oh yeah, we've got a few. <laughs> a little bit of money on it. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look, um, oh, it's funny, it's all good in what you're doing so now. I'd like to warmly welcome you to 2018 Iron Fair Wildland. Give you some sort of wave from my own family. Oh, I might be coming out. 
have McDonald's drink wearing you. Why? All the quiet. What is it? Why even at your own? We're back down right now. <laughs> I, I can't hear you, but I can. I've got good side tones. You got side tones? Testing one, two, three, four, five. Uh, great. It's a boomerang. Thank you. Not, not a, got it? Loud and Getting the alarms are ready. Our riders are ready. The horses were ready yesterday. Oh, yeah, man. That's just what it is. And this is the way we'll score this as they get one point for each of the items they hit. With the rings, as they keep it on the uh, side, they'll get two points. If they just knock it off, they'll get one. You'll notice they're in the back pink hot. There's a reason for that. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, ask me all these silly questions. Okay. Well done guys, well done. Love it. <laughs> you look the part, you can join us, you can join in with us anytime. Just need to bash it a little bit. Picture with Chelsea. It's recording. I know, we've got a video going here. Here we are at Ironfest. We'll just interview a gentleman here and what he thinks of, of the day. Tell us, uh, what do you think of the day here at Ironfest? <laughs> uh, what was that again, please? It's amazing. No, um, amazing, did you say? <laughs> yeah. Th thank you very much, Well, Hope you enjoy the day and keep clean. Watch out for biological and nuclear waste, I'm sure. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Lady Elizabeth. She's now changed over the sword. She's she totally wasn't going to run him through that sword. That was not what was happening there at all. Okay, so Tony has lands him. And the vehicle configuration is going to change slightly. So you're going to get the Stuart tank, the Salad, the Abbott, so the three big firing ones, the 432, all on the inside left-hand track. And on the right-hand track, you're going to get the uh, half track and the two Saracens. Okay, so we're going to have people debussing from the 432, moving into the left, and you're going to have uh, the two Saracens. So when you get out of the Saracens, you'll have vehicles to your left. On the battlefield, there's three lovely people sitting on the grandstand here that you can't see. G'day, Gordon. G'day, Louise. G'day, Big Fella. Oh, you're just scary. He's just looking a bit scary. Um, they're stony broke. They rove about like roving minstrels all day, playing music for you. They're great fun. So make sure you give them a wave and a smile and get a photo with them. Because they are just awesome. And don't be too scared of Bob. I mean, he just, he looks a bit scared. Well done, boys. Yeah, that's it. All right, aha, we got some horses. Hey, whoa! Let's bring it still. All right, now. One of the things I love about this period of history was just how soon what the color of
some APCs as well on the personal carriers in Saracen Town. They're basically pulling onto the field, hoping they've encountered the enemy, and worked out where they are on this side. The little thing with no roof on it, so to speak, like the top of the car's got a weasel. Oh. Yeah, so that's what we're having mortars down.
force is brought around pretty much all the time. This point, the scouting force is retreated fairly quickly. More personnel captains. during the war, it was just a weak model of a tank that was put there to distract the enemy to do it with the distance of the in a real way. out yet after a day here, Lithgow is obviously a TARDIS. There is just something wrong. It's either the hell mouth or it's a portal or something. I don't know. For some strange reason there are Amazons, there are fawns, there are elves, there are... Who started this? What? What is on? But yeah, and I think they're having a bit of a conference to decide to all spectacular... Hey, dominoes! <laughs>
Amazoni warriors, Scottish women, who have captured an entire half track. Well done. A steward M3 half track, not a bad job. Yes, I am slightly surprised by this news. This here, where am I? This one. This little beast here with four A on the side. That's the one that's named after Chevelle. the Chevelle.
standard design, armored personnel carrier up at the top. I can never get it right, either a Saladin or a Saracen or a personnel carrier again. The only difference between the Saladin and the Saracen armored vehicles was that one was used as a troop carrier, so two doors on the back, some guys could fit in them, and the other one had been converted to have a turret on the top of the big cannon. And they don't between the Saladin and the Saracen kind of vehicles is that one was used as a troop carrier to two doors on the back, some guys can fit them in. Yeah, champ. Tight. Alright. Yeah, I two miss five. Yeah, but the one stuck in the three. You're having way too much fun, mate. I need to try five. Now I need the reenactors to go and start picking up brass. Yeah. Fantastic. 